Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today we're moving on to episode 17 of the old school Let's Play Farming Simulator and also this episode is going to be a channel update as well sort of just for a talk about future plans and sort of talk you know just the usual sort of crap so um, let's get started anyways so I'm just going to work away in the background there and talk about me plans and I'm also going to talk about farming simulator 17 which I probably which I, I think I presume you've probably all seen the trailers that have come out and know a fair bit about it and also crops and cattle which is another game a farming simulator game that I have been following for a while and it's supposed to be releasing at the end of this year but there hasn't been a release date announced yet so it could end up being pushed back on into next year and also another one I'm only after coming across pure farming which is being made by Techland now I didn't do my research and I sh probably should have done but I think Techland is the same what are the same team that was behind Dying Light or something similar to it because there was a lot of comments down below in the comment section of the video it was just a minute long video with some of the brands like Landini and, and it was Landini and there was a few others in it and they were saying that it's, it's dying light before the apocalypse I presume it's the hand I think Techland was in I have dying light as well but sure however so I suppose first things first I'm going to talk about my future plans so as you probably know it's there's been a big sort of a variation of videos coming up like there was a, a spell there with none and then all of a sudden I had three and then I got finally got the epic silent video and that was partially the reason I was putting in a lot of time into that and I know there was six hours of footage but it was just hard to get them six hours of time doing it because we were just flat out at home now flat out bailing and mowing and rowing and picking up pits and, and all, all that sort of cracking things no end to it but we're just now silage is pretty much over we've one more pit silage to pick up and then we're into combine we have our winter corn cut but we still have all the spring stuff to get to so we're just in a sort of a, a period now we're, we're still flat out busy because we've got much other stuff going on but we're not as busy we're not working all night so hopefully I get some time to do a few more farming simulator videos it's just it, it takes a good bit of time to get around to doing farming simulator whereas with the I know the vintage silage day that was our own vintage silage day we had in one of our fields and I wanted to do that anyways but the one with the GoPro I'd like to do more like that of other operations I do around the farm and hopefully now we're supposed to be getting uh, demo uh, a brand new John Deere baler on demo now uh, we're supposed to be I don't know if we are I haven't heard much about it in the last while and I don't know whether it's a combi or just a, a bog standard baler we did have a combi one before on demo a, a good few years ago so I couldn't tell you all I know is it's we're to get it when we're at silent baling silent so but if we do get it my intentions is doing a video like the moan with the GoPro sort of all them different angle shots with the GoPro and a bit of camera footage thrown in of this baler and probably the 64A here or 6290 pulling it so that is a plan for a future video and hopefully I'll get to do more videos like that moan with the GoPro of other stuff like slurry silage drawn silage cutting with the harvester and I also hope to buy a drone now not a little drone proper big drone if all goes well now I hope to do this with the revenue from YouTube but at the minute now it's it's slim so it could be well into next year before I get one or maybe if all goes well I have 20 cattle to sell before the end of the year and I might be able to get funding out of that but I wouldn't think so because I need the most of it to pay for rent on land and bills and all, all that sort of crack so um yeah and i'm sorry about it taking so long i know it's been a while since i did one of these videos where i'm talking the last block of videos there was no sound just um video 
Oh, I'm sorry about yeah, taking so long to get that Epic Silent video up. It's just... Yeah, it just took too long now. I'm sorry about that. I should have had it up a lot. So I know I said when I, I said I was going to do it first, maybe two weeks, but sure. Turned into like two more two months, never mind two weeks. So yeah. And right, we'll talk about the future plans for farming simulator sort of job. Now, Keen Cassidy said that he'd like to see me do another epic silage video on a different map. Like Torton Farm, or I, I can't pronounce it, Tor I, I'll just call it Torton Farm, probably pronounced differently, but how and ever. I have the map, map downloaded, I've been looking at it. Yeah, it is, it is fairly good, but I'll, I'll put it out to you. Whoever actually makes it this far in and watches, please, in the comments below, put a map you'd like to see me do one on. So... I'll take all suggestions in and if I end up with one map getting more suggestions than others that's what I'll do and I also now I'm probably being very ambitious in doing this but that's I think it's Levin farm the one that's based off the Spurn mountains in the north that's sort of a very hilly map with 50 something fields in it I was thinking of doing an epic silage bailing on that using the Crone Ultima, Crone Ultima that continuous baler wrapper maybe a few of them and maybe a baler and a wrapper but I was trying to bail and then try and wrap afterwards but I just couldn't I, cu I, I couldn't get it to work right with the the bales kept rolling down the hills I got all, into half a bother with that so it would be looking like it would be just the Krona Ultimia because the other Baylor wrappers like the Mikhail Fusion 2 and 3 and the John Deere I did do a video on all of them you can check that out if you haven't already hopefully I'll put an annotation or something in just in case you haven't seen it but with the Mikhail and the John Deere you can't leave them in course but you have to bail yourself and that's where I run into butter so if I do go down the road of doing that I may once need some help making making it and I know there's a lot to do like 59 fields is a lot even if it was just on a Sunday if a couple of lads give me a hand bailing with the Michaels and that and you can just pick a field and bail I'd have it all mowed and road ready to go and I'll just fly around taking a few snapshots and all that crack if you're interested in doing that let me know because I think it's something I might do but I'm just testing out the map and seeing how it goes because I was getting into bother with horsepower tractors trying to get up some of the hills to be getting it very hard very very hard so you just have to have to wait and see about that I have to do more testing on it and see how it works out so yeah and as I was saying about the epic silence day you can comment away on what you'd like to see me do on a different map and hopefully I'll get around to it I'm all up for it I, I, I enjoyed it the last time but I might you see the problem with doing it on a different map you see Westbridge Hills is grand square fields no hedges not a lot to run into but when I go into them square fields I have to do headland runs and I have to do a lot of that so it mightn't be an epic silage where I mow and be it more Everton because it, it, it leaves an awful lot of work trying to sort them out if I do go down the road of doing an epic one I might want help doing it I just gotta wait and see see what your responses are on all that sort of crack just to see how it goes so yeah um, what else now because I had it all planned out and I was going to talk about it and I'm running uh, I'm forgetting myself I'm going to keep the video to 20 minutes long anyway so hopefully I'll have, have enough to fill in for that amount of time but um, what was I going to say? oh now that I had think of it I was planning on doing stuff I have a heap of model tractors 132 scale Britons and Silku models that have been gathering for all that many years now I can't remember but I, I was planning and sort of just making a short video I've seen some of 
ye out there that have, have them done where not so much that I start playing with them but I just go through my collection because there's a lot I have like three or four shells of them and I have a big wooden case full of them on box I have a heap of stuff and I just like to go through it and show you and maybe you'd like it and maybe you'd want to see me do something else with them you know just just try and grow everything's going to be real farming related here and also I have videos of a rally that went by my house back in March and they're on my old phone which gave up the go she calved whatever happened to it I don't know I we'll have to try and get them files off I was the plan was to make a video on it but she calved before I could get them off it so I have to try and get them off and that could be something that could come up nearer in the future all going well so that is something else I am big into rallying and threat cars and that sort of crack so I'd hope to do that and maybe in the future there might be a few other sort of rally look at I'll just make it up as I go along but it's all farm related and also I have a heap of snapchat videos and my instagram photos which I'm going to put up in a video soon hopefully I'll have it up by the middle of the week and it's just literally the last couple of months on snapchat just i saved all the videos caught in silence and bailing and and all that so her cracking the few instagram photos i'm going to throw it all into one video so i'm going to be about five minutes long and throw it up and i was thinking of then maybe every month or three months or just depending on the amount of uh, material i have making a video of the same stuff just so you can see anyone out there that doesn't have snapchat or instagram you can see what do we at on a daily basis and you know you know yourself like. so um yeah and the plan is that farming simulator videos I'll try and get them up on a Sunday or most likely I'll be recording them on a Sunday putting them up on a Monday it'll be Sunday evening Monday morning when they come up and that's just purely because I have Sundays off we don't work on a Sunday and I just have the time to do it whereas any videos that go up in the middle of the week are going to be more based on um, real life farming or stuff that I can make fairly quick and simple because I just find that it just takes a while to get farming similar her videos made and it takes two hours to render so that is, and that is something I was asked by Martin Dean to make a video on how I make videos and that is something now I probably won't get it done this evening which I'm recording on a Sunday now and this will be up on a Monday so I'm probably confusing you now and I'm confusing myself but it should be up by the middle of next week the, a video on how I record farming simulator videos it's just where I use OBS uh, Vegas Sony Vegas Pro 13 and Handbrake just to render create do all them cutting in between and fast forwarding and slowing down and editing uh, music and all that crap. just show you how I do it I was asked to do it so I will do it and if you have any suggestions on videos you'd like to see how I do stuff or anything you want to know just hit me in the comments below and I will do my best to get it done any questions anything like that and also I've said and also a lot of times now I have finally got the mod I was telling you about I don't know how many months ago it might even be Christmas last when I was talking about it of the homemade trailer I was working on have it in game I was on far FS UK I got some help from some lads I have it in game but it's still very buggy I have a lot of fixing and, and tricking to do with it and textures aren't right so maybe in the next episode of old school let's play which I hope to continue until a point where either I get too many dislikes or people just tell me it's it's not worth doing anymore because I'd really like to see this get big and I have tractors in what are done there me go and get them moving um, yeah I'd, li I'd like to try and keep this going so I enjoy doing this old school crack and oh what's after happening there um, yeah I'm going to continue the old school hopefully now the next old school I have that trailer relatively finished that I can show you a sort of a preview of it and I will be going out on FSUK when I have it done. And my plan from there is 
to do a silage version it's only a little single action trailer it's an exact model of one we have at home I took all their measurements of and once I have the trailer done hopefully I'll have enough of a knowledge of what to do done that I'm going to try and make an FC80 a JF FC80 if you don't know what that is you ch can check out the video there hopefully I'll put an annotation there if I remember it of our own FC80 working with the Ursus 4512 model of one of them in I don't know if it'll work or not but that is something I'd like to do once I have the trailer made to do it so that is something else I am working on I'm trying to get into the mud and just to try I want to try and get stuff in because there's no real good trail harvesters like after NI mud and sort of stuff didn't make it they were the bees knees they made a lot of great stuff and you're just missing I, I'm missing them sort of stuff like it Oh, I, I I really did enjoy their their mods now, but hopefully now they'll be back for 2017. Uh, every bit as good and better. And I do know what happened to them. I know they lost one of their members and all that crack. You know, it's it's tragedy, but sure, life goes on anyways. But um, yeah. So I'm trying to go into the modern that way, and I suppose now that's that's sort of. The, my future plans I'm in the last 16 minutes talking about it so hopefully that gives you an idea of what I'm trying to do and as I said you know I was comment blowing anything once he done or anything like that crack and I suppose now we'll talk about the farming simulator news you've heard 2017's coming up probably know all the new features like the contracting feature I, I presume it's a replacing the in-game missions and then you're going with this sort of a contracting based job system where you go work for men and you sort of down price you do work for men and you sort of build up a relationship with them on fields in the map that you don't own and when it comes to the time when you can buy it you'll get a discount based on your relationship with the farmer you know how friendly you are and all the jobs you've done from and I don't know if that's going to be purely based on just tillage it's going to be like cow and so on harrow and all that crack or is there going to be grass like mowing, and cotton and silage stuff that that's what I want to see yeah plowing and all that's common and all that's good but silage is what I want and I presume a, a lot of people will want silage but as you can see in like this map there's no grass so I don't know how that's going to work it probably will be just this sort of base but it'll be also interesting to see how it will affect map mods because it's going that's going to throw in a whole new ballpark into making them and could end up being difficult so and then I presume you also know all the new brands Agco's in Farming Simulator 17 you have Massey, Challenger, Agco, Fent all the big names and Case I don't know if Case in the trailers I've seen so far there's been no sign of Case tractors I have seen New Holland's It'll be interesting to see are Case tractors still in it I know they have the combine but I wonder will the big cases be in it now? Be interesting to see. And you also know you have women avatars now, and there's sunflower crops is now a thing in it. And they're saying there's more to be announced, so it'll be interesting to see. And as I was saying, crops and cattle is another big one. I'll leave links in the description if I remember on the, all the the trailers and that for crops and cattle and pure farming. But crops and cattle seems fairly promising. They're talking about a sort of a manager style system I have seen a few videos and I'm following, following it as best I can just to see how it comes on I'd like to know like it, lo it looks class to say the least it, it looks it looks good and I will be buying it to pretty much I'll buy it there'll be an unpackaging video and then when I first get on it they'll be recording it that just so you know what it's like I also intend to do that farm similar to 2017 when it comes out I'll hopefully I'll go well if I get money I'll be pre-ordering the collector's edition doing an unboxing and the day I get it it'll be a first look at it literally I won't even play it for an hour and then make a video it'll be I'll launch it and make the video and we'll find out together what it's going to be like coming out is the 27th of October so that has the plan and then pure farming I'm literally only after finding out about it it's as I was saying Techland seems is the 
creators behind it. There was a very short video, it was only a bit over a minute long. It showed Landini, it showed a bit of heroin or something going on. I can't just remember, I, should, I probably should have looked it up before I went talking about it. But it looks like another promising one. There was no to be released dates or anything like that, but I did say that there'll be another trailer coming out at Gamescom in Germany. So we'll just have to wait and see about that. And I'm at the 20 minute mark now, so I hope. I'm after explaining my plans to you and I'm not after getting you lost because I'd imagine you're probably lost of what I'm talking about because I'm just ranting. And that's that's really it now, that's all I have to say. As I said, please like and subscribe and comment on anything you'd like to see done or any of that sort of crack. And yeah, that's it. You can follow me on Instagram, all them links are below. And that is really it for me. Good luck.